Here we have a used 2017 Honda Civic. This one is a sedan. Comes in the EXT trim level in crystal black pearl. And then we have black cloth interior. Now the powertrain of this Civic consists of a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. That's made it to a continuously variable transmission. And then this one has 113,000 and some change in terms of mileage. But to the front end here, halogen headlamps, halogen fog lights. We have the LED daytime running lights. They do not flash like that. That's just how my camera's picking them up. But I like the design of this, especially for the more basic models. I mean, the Civics tend to be pretty inexpensive and you certainly get pretty good reliability and low cost maintenance over the years compared to the competitors. But down here we have the 17 inch aluminum wheels. I like that look there. We get passive keyless entry on the front doors. And then we have one touch automatic up and down windows for the driver and front passenger. And then we also have power mirror controls here. Sorry, there's a bug on my leg. And then power door lock controls, rear window lock. And then there's a trunk release there, a bottle holder. Traction control can be toggled here. There's a base knob. The previous owner had, well, they still have JL Audio subs and tweeters in here, but this front left speaker is blown. There's the hood release there. We do have a manual tilt and telescope steering wheel and the latch is all the way back there. And there we have our manual driver seat. But I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So we're gonna go ahead and try and squeeze back here. So legroom is not terrible, especially for this to be a, a small sedan like this. And I still have a couple inches of headroom, just how the, the roof is shaped kind of curves up and then comes back down there. So it does make the, the rear windshield a little small, but it doesn't really bother me any. Seat back pocket on this side. And then center seat folds down, bottle holders there. And then I do like that they integrated on the left side, this hanger hook if you want to hang up a shirt or two right there. Let's go ahead and make our way to the back as I try to get out of here. Now fuel filler, just click there. Capless, takes regular, no problem. People may or may not like that, but as we come around to the back end here, you can see just a few scuffs and a few dents. Well, it's almost a crack there, but for the most part, I mean, it's a 113,000 mile car. I don't know how that happened. But we can either hit the latch up front or we have a button underneath here and we can pop the trunk and the space is actually pretty good again this does have a, a sub box back here but even with that a little bit of space left and then underneath here we have a spare tire and such and then we can actually fold the seats by pulling here for either side I like the integrated spoiler. It's not much, but it does make it look a little less bare back here, I think. Now this rear passenger side, you can see each side will fold down and you can run objects from the back through to the front, especially that middle section there when that box isn't there, but you still have your tethers and your anchors here for the car seats if you ever need to use those. And then your front passenger seat, you can either move the seat back forward and back or move the seat bottom front to back. And then down here, 12 volts, and then you have a USB-A port right there. And then glove compartment. And sorry if there's a lot of wind noise, I have the air full blast, it's kind of hot in there. But I'll turn it down when I get to the interior. But as we come back around to the front, the release is there, and there's that 1.5 turbo. So you can pretty much see everything that's going on.
But next, we're gonna go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. All right, so let me turn this down. And I'll get to this here in a moment because I have my issues with that. But there's the horn there. We have the vinyl wrap steering wheel or hard plastic, whatever it is. Just a little bit of wear where you hold your hand there. And then over here, headlamp controls, corners auto on. And then we have our fog lights, high beams there, flash. And then we have our windshield wiper controls here. One time off, intermittent, low, high. And then we can pull there for the front wiper fluid. Now to the radio, we do get AM, FM, XM, along with the USB port, Bluetooth audio. You saw where the USB was earlier. And then we have wired Apple CarPlay. I'm not sure about Android Auto because some of these vehicles, you can't ever tell. They'll have one and not the other or something like that. I think there was a Kia at one point that had just Android Auto wired. I remember doing a review on that. So I, it's hard to keep up with this stuff, but I believe it has both of those connections, but I know it has Apple CarPlay. But all of our system settings, you can scroll through there. There's a ton of them. I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough because there's not too much going on here unless you need it, which I like about these radios and the Hondas. Everything's just kind of hidden back out of the way. But there's the backup camera there, guidelines follow as you turn the steering wheel. Now for the climate controls, we get dual zone automatic climate. But one thing I can't stand is you have to hit this to get to your fan speed and fan direction. Everything has to be controlled through the screen and on and off and all that there. I like that you can turn the fans on or off from right here, but it's just kind of annoying having that up and then it kind of disappears after a while and you gotta pull it back up and then adjust the, the fan speed or fan direction there. But you can sync pretty easily by pushing the button or adjusting and then auto mode, you can hit that. But again, to turn that off, you have to adjust the fan speed. So you have to go all the way in the screen again and do that. But the frosters are readily available. You do get three stage heated front seats, which is nice. Little storage area back here behind the shifter. And for the shifter itself, just pull the lever, reverse neutral drive. And then you have that sport mode. And then you have the, the low gear, if you will, right there. And then your econ mode, you can toggle that on or off and then electronic parking brake, pull up to engage with the brake, press down to disengage, and you have your automatic brake hold there. Now we do have cup holders here. We can remove this if we don't want to use it. And then we also have storage compartment here. And then this, I think you can also move, yes, yeah, so you can move that back and forth too to get to the, the storage area or to hide it if you want to. So an interesting setup there. I do love that we have the sunroof so we can either tilt it or one touch slide that back. And there's a view of the back seat from up here. Let's close this up. And then down here, we have our volume controls for the radio, Bluetooth controls are here, voice recognition, and then our cruise controls are here. So you can just turn that on or off and adjust speed and cancel. But over here, this can be one of two things. So when you don't hit this button, you can go through your audio sources by going up or down here and then go through your presets by going left or right here, depending on where you are. So if I go to FM, it'll pull up my FM presets, presets and I can go through those. Now, when you hit this button here, all of a sudden these change what they're designed to do. So I can scroll left or right here to get through certain options. And then I can change my units here if I wanna do that for speed. And then I can also go through my info as well. If there are any notifications there and then we have the range, fuel, all of that. There's the push button start there. And then finally we have the key fob with remote start. I need to find the key for this one because the actual key is missing, but there it is. And next, let's go ahead and take this 2017 Honda Civic EXT out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in the Civic here, just having a little bit of shutter from the transmission getting up to speed. But now that it's actually going, 
not too bad. But we're gonna give it a little throttle in sport mode coming out of this corner here. So I absolutely love the pull that you get from this turbo engine. I like it much better than the two liter that's offered, just the naturally aspirated four cylinder that's kind of been a, a secondary choice. issue here I don't know what just happened but I'm gonna put it into the drive mode and yeah the transmission is gone pretty much out I don't know what's going on here so we're gonna pause this for a second we're gonna cut it off see if we can get it to go back and drive here so now that we're going, it seems to be driving normally. Again, I don't know what's going on with that, so I'm definitely gonna make sure the service team at this store takes a look at this, but something to look out for if you're looking at a, a Civic, I guess, EXT in your area, because I have not experienced that in a vehicle in a long time. But I do like the ride quality. Pretty decent to have these 17 inch wheels with these thinner tires were lower to the ground so no issue there and my dad actually has one of these it's a manual but his has a 1.5 t and i believe his is a a 2019 maybe and he has about 120,000 miles on his and hasn't had any issues particularly not one like i just had with this car I think his is a hatchback too. But when the blinkers are on, you do get that curbside view, which I think is pretty neat. So as I'm kind of getting to know this car, I feel like that might be one of the big reasons that this was traded in, is giving it hard throttle and it pretty much throwing itself into a, a limp mode. But I mean, just driving it normally here, knock on wood, I haven't had any other issues. It was just when I put it into sport mode, I tried to give it some throttle, specifically getting on the interstate, trying to hold it there. And it's almost like there was a, a section of the transmission that didn't want to, to activate. So it just kind of threw it into neutral. So again, that can be scary. I'm definitely gonna make sure whoever has this vehicle for sale knows that because that does need to be fixed. Because I think it's specifically a safety issue, especially for, I just realized that being on the interstate there, having to pull over to the side and then get it back going. But again, just under normal driving conditions, not necessarily trying to put my foot in it, driving perfectly fine, except for that initial shutter as I pulled out of the parking lot there. But if you can see the fuel economy here, the average fuel economy is reading 33.5 miles per gallon. So these are gas sippers, and I do think that that's one of the, the cool things about them. They're relatively quick, especially to just have a 1.5 turbo. And still, when you don't have your foot in it, you get pretty stellar gas mileage. Now, I think for the money, if you get one of these right, probably... I'm assuming the CVT wasn't maintained per the factory specifications, but still, I mean, that's something that you probably want to make sure that you're taken care of if you are getting one of these with the CVT, because again, that's something that I've not experienced in a long time is a, a car throwing itself in a neutral and then you can't get it to go without cutting it off and then turning it back on. So I don't know what that was about. But other than that, decent car. But that's a that's a big a big issue right there. 
But this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2017 Honda Civic EXT.